Hi guys, MPDev here again and today I'm going to show you how to use our gesture detector for grabbing objects in our game. This time it's really an easy tutorial to follow and you will notice too that can be improved by a lot. Ok, let's start. Um, I'm going to use the same scene that I use for the gesture detector script. So I have my OBR camera rig with both left and right hand and this time we are going to create a script called gesture grab and attach to both the hands. This is the script I made. We are going to inherit the OVR grabber script so we can use all this function and we are going to work in a boolean to check if we are grabbing, grabbing or not. So in the start we are going to initialize the base.start function from the OVR grabber. Then I create this function that is used to determine if we are really grabbing or not. In this case, we are going to pass as a parameter a string called is grabbing. And if the string is true, we are going to set the boolean to true. And if the string is false, we are going to set the is grabbing to false. In the update is where we are going to do the magic. <laughs> so in the update, we have called the base.update and also with an if statement we are going to check if we are not grabbing anything and there are some candidates that we can grab and the is grabbing boolean is too true we can start to grab instead if we are grabbing and the is grabbing is false we are going just simply to end the grabbing this is another function that we is um, to check if we are uh, releasing the object from the end while we are trying to stop the grab and also we have to override the grab end I tried uh, to uh, improve the script because I noticed that if you try to stop the grab uh, from an object the, that object will just uh, um, fall to the floor or um, everywhere without having uh, any velocity. In this case I tried to make a turnaround but it's not really working. It can be fixed better and if you have uh, some uh, advices to, to improve this script I'm always uh, uh, here to <laughs> have some advices. So mainly uh, we are going to check if we are grabbing the object. We are going to calculate the velocity by the transform.parent position minus the mlest position. The mlest position is uh, a variable from the OVR grabber class and also we are going to divide it by time dot fixed delta time. And the same we are going to do with the rotation. So the angular velocity will going to be the Euler angles of the parents minus the Euler angles from the last rotation and then we are going to release the object with these two values also to make this work we have to set the parameters here from grip transform you have to set in the right end the OVR custom prefab right and also you have to choose the controller as right end I didn't put any grab volumes also the parent transform is the end right hand anchors and the player is the OVR camera rig. The same we are going to do with the left hand. As grip transform we are going to put this here, the left hand. We are going to choose as controller the left hand. The parent transform will be the left hand anchors and the player will be always the OVR camera rig. And in the end to make this work I just made a, a simple sphere where I have uh, here the just the sphere with a rigid body and uh, a sphere collider th that is just a normal collider and I also put the OVR grabbable script on it. To make it easier to work I also made a grab collider that is just simply another object inside the sphere with a collider but this time is a trigger. 
because we are going to set this trigger here in the grab points because this will be the point for grabbing our sphere. In the end, to make this work everything with the, our gesture detectors, in this case I just made an example in the my detector right hand. I already memorized three, in this case I memorized yes, three gestures. One is for grabbing and we are going to set of the right hand to detect grabbing to true. So whenever we are going to recognize the gesture, the boolean will set to true and we are ready to grab. And while we are releasing, we are going to set the transform of the object uh, a moment earlier we are releasing. So in this case, sometimes uh, can work that the object have its own velocity. And also here, in the not recognized event, uh, just put false uh, the detect grabbing. I will show you now an example. Start the game and let the Oculus initialize the hands. And as just recognized for grabbing, I made a closed hand, and for releasing, I made a gesture like an open hand. Now I grab the sphere, I try to release it, and the sphere goes away. This time it worked. <laughs> and now I will show you the part where sometimes this doesn't work properly. I start again. Okay, I grab the sphere and ta da! Home run! Great! <laughs> this is not really working well. You can always avoid to call the is releasing function in the gesture recognized if it's giving problems to you. I try it again and I grab the sphere and this time slowly it almost worked. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching the video. You can always find the script in the GitLab repository. The link is in the description below. If you want, leave a like or a comment and if this video will reach 10 likes, I will make an original feature tutorial for VR in general, so it can be used for controllers or end tracking. See you in the next video, bye!